Starfield Guaranteed FPS Boost This mod claims to provide guaranteed FPS boost to any system by changing certain settings that can't be changed through default in iFiles or via in-game options. The list of changes is quite long, so let's see if this mod actually provides a performance boost. This mod comes in two versions, a normal one that simply grants performance boost, and a version with atmospheric scattering, which provides slightly less performance boost but looks way better due to improved skies. I'm going to compare both to original settings. I'm running the test at 1080p Ultra settings on Ryzen 5 5600 CPU, RX 6650 XT8GB GPU, 32GB of RAM, and Starfield is on an SSD. In New Atlantis, the mod doesn't look all too impressive. Average frame rates are about 11% higher on modded versions. Maximum FPS is about 9.5% higher on average. The minimum FPS is significantly lower than on original settings though, but that is very common behavior shared by literally all performance mods I've tested so far, so nothing interesting there. 1% and 0.1% lows are very slightly higher on both versions of the mod, but again, nothing exciting. In Neon, the mod is much more impressive. Average FPS is about 28% higher on both versions of the mod. Minimum FPS is 27% lower on regular version and 10% lower on atmospheric version, but maximum FPS is also 13% higher on default and 10.7% higher on atmospheric version. However, the most impressive part is a massive boost to 1% and 0.1% lows. Default mod had 57% higher 1% lows and staggering 67% higher 0.1% lows while atmospheric version had almost 50% higher 1% lows and 45% higher 0.1% lows. This is extremely impressive, because that means game runs considerably smoother and has less stuttering on mod versions, and by considerably high margin too. And not only that, the modded version seems to adjust terrible default Starfield color filter, so everything looks slightly better, but that's personal preference. In Aquila City, which is one of the laggiest areas in the entire game, the mod is way less impressive. It still provides very slight performance improvement, especially on the atmospheric version, but it's very marginal. Default mod provides 14% improvement to average FPS, and that's the biggest boost. In other metrics, both versions provide 4-9% to performance improvement, but it's not something all too exciting. Of course, any performance boost is better than no performance boost, and combined with massive boost in Neon, this mod might actually be worth considering. In terms of visuals, default mod looks slightly darker than original settings, but in terms of detail, both mods are close to original settings. However, personally I think atmospheric versions looks better than both original and default mod. It preserves the detail, but improved skies really make the world a lot prettier. In Neon, both mods visually are more appealing than original settings because they adjust the horrible default color filter. Detail is still there, but because of better filter, everything is sharper, and distant objects especially look much better on mod than original settings. Again, personally I think atmospheric version is slightly better because it looks the same in Neon as default mod, but elsewhere the better skies improve visuals considerably. Installation of the mod is extremely simple. Go to the link in the description and download whichever version of the mod you want. Then go to my computer, my documents, my games, Starfield, and put the file you've just downloaded into this folder. That's it, mod should now work. Like and subscribe for more content.